On Sunday, April 17, 90 Day Fiancé fans were finally gifted the season 9 premiere of the hit reality series. The show is known for its wacky and often mismatched couples like Sinjin and Tanya. Sweet Sinjin was clearly head over heels for fiancé Tanya, but Tanya could be inconsiderate and much to the disappointment of fans, she never quite reciprocated Sinjin's love-fueled energy. In cases like Sinjin and Tanya, some 90-day couples seem to be perpetually out of sync despite their dreams of finding true love. It's all too common for beloved cast members to end up marrying cruel partners or get used for their mate's personal gain. In a series of heroes vs. villains, 90-day fiancé fans will always clamor for their favorites to get their deserved happy ending. Loren and Alexi stand out as one of 90-day fiancé's cutest couples, but the pair did not have a perfect start. At their wedding in Israel, Alexi and Loren exchanged biting remarks and argued non-stop, turning their happy day into a slightly sour affair. It was clear that the lovebirds lacked basic organization and communication in the early stages of their relationship, which led to lots of childish bickering. Loren and Alexi were clearly in love and together they eventually gained maturity and achieved the strong relationship that fans knew they were capable of. Fans are grateful for their growth but were saddened by their behavior on their big day. Loren and Alexi definitely overcame their shaky start and are now proud parents to two adorable children. Sweethearts Annie and David are standouts among the 90-day universe for their adorable banter and David's memorable financial struggles. Annie had a lot of patience and was frequently forced to deal with David's indulgent personality. In a disappointing move at Annie's welcome party, David blatantly ignored his fiancé's pleas to cut back on his alcohol consumption and scuffled with a family friend. Related, 10 Common Criticisms About 90 Day Fiancé Annie is impossibly sweet and her fans hated seeing her feeling embarrassed and in tears. David and Annie were considered to be an odd pair by many of the show's viewers, but despite their issues, the two had a clear connection. Given Annie's tremendous patience and her giant leap joining David in the U.S., she should have had a more pleasant welcome. David worked on his habits and today Annie seems a lot happier, giving 90-day fans reason to rejoice. Couples with especially large age gaps often face generational differences, but viewers certainly remember the strange parent-slash-childlike relationship of Mark and his fiancée, Nikki. In an unforgettable scene, Mark sternly scolded Nikki for touching his car window and noted that he had previously reprimanded his children for the same offense. Effervescent Nikki seemed to have her light tragically dimmed by the relationship. Throughout her tenure on the show, viewers desperately wanted to see Nikki get her comeuppance over her strict husband. Nikki was obviously uncomfortable living in Mark's household and seemed to be stuck in a perpetual state of submission. Recent news of the couple's divorce, page 6 signals a glorious fresh start for Nikki and a chance to gain her independence. Remembered for her hatred of farm life and her overbearing in-laws, viewers couldn't help but root for Julia as she sought independence for herself and her fiancé, Brandon. Though Julia didn't always have a great attitude, it was easy to be on her side as Brandon's mom, Betty, became one of 90 Day Fiancé's most difficult family members. Much to the dismay of Julia, Betty, was prone to meddle in her son's blossoming relationship. Julia's sacrifice of moving to a new country should have warranted a little sympathy from Brandon's parents, who ignored the obvious signs of her culture shock. Fans were often freaked out by the overbearing dynamic in Brandon's family and Brandon's inability to take charge. Though it took a long time, the couple finally escaped the family's strict regime and moved away to enjoy city life. From the beginning, Fans had doubts about Juliana and Michael's romance but quickly came around when Juliana revealed herself to be a kind and loving new stepmom to Michael's adorable kids. Despite their flourishing relationship, Michael's murky communication surrounding their prenup seemed to intentionally leave Juliana in the dark. Viewers quickly picked up on the fact that Mark did not trust Juliana with his money. Even after proving her dedication to Michael's family, lack of trust and communication led to major cracks in the relationship, and news that the 90-day fiancé stars aren't together anymore didn't exactly surprise Juliana fans. Today, the 90-day star has found trust in a new, loving relationship and she is awaiting the arrival of her first child. ET online while it's obvious that Louise broke Molly's heart, she's not the only one that suffered the consequences of the ill-fated marriage. Fans learned early in their rocky saga that Louise, sadly, had little interest in being a father figure to Molly's two daughters. Molly wanted so much to be in love, but teenage Olivia unfairly had to deal with the wrath of her stepdad's mood swings and immature behavior. Viewers felt sorry for Olivia as the entire debacle harmed the relationship between the teen and her mom. Though the couple ended their marriage, Molly's parenting choices were questioned by fans, and her relationship with Olivia continued to suffer in the wake of the entire ordeal. Molly and Olivia have gone through several periods of estrangement and reconciliation. Sinjin was clearly dedicated to Tanya, 
But Tanya raised eyebrows when she admitted that she didn't feel a soulmate connection to her doting fiancé. Fans grew to love Sinjin as he constantly proved his love for Tanya by placing her on a pedestal and bending to her rigid idiosyncrasies. 90-day fans turned on Tanya and rooted for Sinjin to break up with her. An imbalance of power or love can cause a dedicated partner like Sinjin to grow weary so it's no wonder that the relationship hit a plateau. Sinjin would make an ideal mate with his open heart and willingness to support his significant other. Tanya seemed to take Sinjin's love and devotion for granted. Now divorced from Tanya, Sinjin is free to go in search of his true soulmate. Fans of early seasons of 90 Day will remember the adorable young couple, Kyle and Noon. Apart from Noon's struggles to adapt to American life, the two shared a mostly unproblematic and very loving romance. Before their wedding, Kyle tried to make amends with his estranged mom, but was tragically rejected. Kyle's sweet way of doting on fiancé Noon signaled to viewers that he was sensitive and caring. Favored for their positive love story, fans were heartbroken to see Kyle rebuffed by his mom during such an important time in his life. Kyle was brave in his efforts to reconcile, and he definitely deserved a better support system. Thankfully, Kyle continues to thrive with lovely Noon by his side. 90 Day fans remember when young couple Steven and Olga welcomed their newborn son early into their relationship. New mom, Olga, was protective over the baby and lightly scolded Steven for touching the newborn with unwashed hands. Annoyed at her criticism, Steven snapped rather viciously at his fiancé and dismissed her concerns. Related, 10 couples from 90 Day Fiancé that Reddit users changed their minds about experienced parents can affirm that Olga's requests were valid, as newborn babies are especially susceptible to germ-based illnesses. Steven's tone was harsh, especially considering Olga's harrowing experience delivering their child. Even though the couple was undergoing extreme stress, Olga definitely should have received more respect and adoration from Steven. Dedicated viewers remember Yara for her no-nonsense way of addressing fiancé Jovi's partying and long absences. Fans wondered if unreliable Jovi could really commit to Yara's request to be a better partner. In a gut-wrenching scene, Yara revealed that she previously faced a painful pregnancy loss and was left to have an operation and recover without Jovi by her side. Yara was burdened by residual feelings of abandonment and trauma surrounding the pregnancy loss. Fans definitely felt sympathy for Yara in her difficult quest to make Jovi understand his wrongdoing and the lack of consideration that he showed Yara. Not ready to quit on their love, Yara stayed with Jovi and the two are the proud parents of a lovely daughter. Dot. Thank you.